Power is working hard to provide more clean energy to the city. Local News 8 reporter Taja Davis spoke with the city about how its power progress is going. Taja. That's right, Jay. Idaho Falls is on its way to self sufficient power. Idaho Falls Power told me the hydropower facilities have really helped in keeping our power lows. Our power rates low. The old lower power plant was restored to its normal operations last month after being closed for about five years. And this month, work is being done on the upper power plant to remove the sediment blocking the water flow. Along with these recent projects, Idaho Falls Power is very excited to have the added efficiency and opportunity to continue the growth of Idaho Falls. The state of our facilities are in fantastic state. The staff does a great job of keeping the maintenance up on them and keeping them running. And the last two projects that we've had, the investment in the old lower project as well as the upper power plant that were funded by rates, they're cash funded, they're paid for, are great examples of how the community is taking such good care of those assets that keep our power rates low. At this time of year, Idaho Falls is one-third self-sufficient. The city does use power from other clean sources. Idaho Falls self-sufficiency depends on the weather and the water flow. In the studio tonight, I'm Taja Davis. Thank you, Taja. At 6, we'll go more in-depth and show you how the plant can eventually expand the city's economic growth. Well, time now